Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. A while ago I did a video on how to add a date picker into your workbook using a little add-in from Microsoft. Now in that video I was using Office 365 but one thing that I didn't mention is that I was using a 32-bit version of that software. Now the problem with the date picker that I added in is that it only works in the 32-bit version. So if you have a 64-bit version of Excel, you'll find that this method won't work. Now since making that video, I've got a new computer that now runs a 64-bit version of Excel 2021. And in this version, of course, the date picker that I used previously can't be added in. So if you really want to have a date picker in your workbook, what are the alternatives? Because unfortunately, Microsoft hasn't got its own date picker that works in the 64-bit version of Excel. But if you really do want a date picker, there are some add-ins that might help. Now to get these, you first have to make sure you have this developer tab enabled. And to do this, as a quick reminder, we go to File, come down to Options, then go to Customize Ribbon. And on this menu here on the right hand side, you just need to make sure that Developer is checked and then click OK. Then when you go to your Developer tab, what you want to look for is this Add-ins button here. And what you'll get is you'll get a little window opening up, which has my add-ins. So this is ones that you have previously loaded and you've got your store. So if we click on store and then in my search box, I'm just going to search for date. Now I've not tested many of these, but there are some date and calendar pickers in here. The one I have briefly tested is this mini calendar and date picker at the top. So what you have to do is click add and then continue. And then it will add in a calendar for you. If you wanted to add in another one or add it into a new workbook, when you go back to add-ins, this should then appear in your My Add-ins section. But essentially what it gives you, it gives you a little calendar and you can scroll through your various months. And what it does is when you select a cell and it can be any cell in your workbook and click on a particular date, it will add in that date. So you can see here we've added in the 16th. If I were to click the cell below, I want to click the 22nd. And then you can add in your dates as you see fit. So this adding calendar isn't linked to a particular cell, but it can sit in your workbook. And as long as you've clicked on a cell where you want to input a date, you can scroll through and click on your date to add it in. There's a few options down the, down the bottom, such as toggling the calendar sides, so you can make it either smaller or bigger. The second option changes the calendar theme, so you can flick through a couple of different colours and styles. So I'm going to go with this green one because it highlights my weekend in a fairly clear green colour. The next option is to change the way your calendar looks. So whether you're showing the week from Sunday to Saturday or Monday to Sunday. So you can click through a few different options here. It gives a little short description down the bottom. So if we find back the one we had at the very beginning. This fourth option adds in a column to the left, which shows you the week of the year that each week is. So you can switch that on or off. And then this final option here is basically if you want to highlight a range of dates. Select this. I've got my range of dates. So at the moment, it's just looking at M7, but I could select M7 through to M10 and click OK. And what it will do is will highlight those dates in that list. So if you had a big long list of dates and you wanted to highlight them in your calendar, you could use this option here. The last button just hides my settings. To get them back, I click on this little cog. The calendar also gives you an option to add in the current time. So if you were to click on this little time here, it will add in the time that it is now. So while this is a slightly different type of calendar to the one we looked at in my first video, which was essentially linked to a single cell and give you a little drop down where the calendar will pop up, you may need to set this up in your workbook in a way that makes sense for how you want to use it. There are some other add-ins if we go back to our store and click date. Now I've not really tested these, but if you have used any of them and if you find them particularly useful, I'd love to hear about it in a comment. So do let me know your thoughts on this type of calendar picker in Excel. Do you find it useful? I'd personally love it if Microsoft had a way of adding in a date picker into your workbook that worked in all versions of Excel. Sadly, there aren't too many options for a date picker within Excel itself without creating your own VBA or downloading some external add-ins. However, depending on what you want, 
Remember, there are also some shortcuts to add in the current date and time, such as holding down control and semicolon to add in the current date. So if what you're wanting from your workbook is to simply add in the date we're on now, then this might be a quick and easy alternative. As always, I hope that you found this video useful. I'd also love to hear your thoughts for future videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I do look forward to seeing you in a future video.